Hi girls, it's Heather and I just wanted to show you how I um, save my images from the Graphic Fairy and then open them up in GIMP to use um, in my projects. So I've already searched through the Graphic Fairy and I found this cute little Golden Fairy girl and I'm gonna click on her once so that it's just the image herself and then I'm right clicking and I'm gonna save the image as and then I've got all these different folders you'll see and I'm gonna specifically I have them in downloads and then I try to save all the graphic fairies um, in Karen's file so that then I know that I can use them for free and not have to worry about any copyright issues so I'm gonna it's golden fairy vintage image so I'm gonna just go ahead and save that okay and then it's saved in my downloads and if I wanted to now I could open it or I could show in the folder oops which you can't see that because it's below the screen so I'm going to do it the other way so I'm going to go ahead and close this and now here is GIMP um, and this is what it might look like when you open it you're going to see a toolbox movable window um, or dockable dock they'll call it you've got a brushes and the layers um, these are the three main um, docks that I use, or windows. I'm just going to slightly drag this out of the screen here just for a moment so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the brushes, and I think I'll just leave the layers here. So now I'm going to go over to my file, and I'm going to go to Open. And over on my other screen, oops, I'm going to drag it over into the picture here. Let's see. It's not going to be the, make it a little smaller. There we go. And now I'm going to look for Heather. And I'm going to go to Downloads, which should be up here. I keep a lot of stuff, so I have a lot of stuff on my computer. It's kind of crazy. Okay. And my computer's a little slow right now because it's kind of old and I need to get a new one, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, now I'm going to go through my gazillion of graphic fairy images as soon as they're all loaded in here and find a, the one that starts with a G. Graphic B. Actually, I might be able to go to modified. Nope, there we go. There she is. So I double clicked on her. And now she's open in her own window, which I'm going to make smaller because she's a rather large image. Okay, I'm going to bring back up my toolbox so you can see that I'm not going to worry about the brushes so much and my layers. Now you'll notice here that um, the very first layer says background. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to create to the layers menu and actually I'm going to drag this over a little bit so you can see that better so I'm hitting on layers, layer menu to a new layer and then you'll have this window pop up and it pretty much, it always comes up as transparency so if it's not transparency you just change it to transparency and click OK so I have my new layer and I'm going to click back on my background layer I'm going to go on to my image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to copy and then I'm going to come onto my new layer and then I'm going to go back onto the image because the new layer is on top you just can't see it because it's transparent and I'm going to go back to the edit and I'm going to paste and now you'll see this little floating selection so if I were to move this out of the way a little bit now if I were to turn off the background you'll see you can still see this image and I can move her around however I want her to be on this second layer so usually I'll do this that way I can save this one um, the background layer so if I want to use her again and change her in a different way I can um, it's always a good idea now to um, double click on the layer or right click on the layer it's not wanting to let me do that for some reason oh there it is she's still floating so 
when she's floating, you can see her, you hit this little anchor, and that anchors her down to the second layer. Um, otherwise, you can still move her around and stuff, which is kind of nice. So once you know where you want her, just go ahead and anchor her down. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer. And actually, it's easier just to double click and put Angel 1. A lot of the times I don't name them, and then I'll have 10 transparent layers with little tiny objects, and it's a real pain. So it's best just to name them right away. Okay, I'm going to show you a tool. Since this is a simple image, we're going to get rid of the background here because it's all white. So I'm going to come over here to my toolbox and I'm going to use this fuzzy select tool. I'm going to click on it to select it. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click anywhere on the white space. And you'll see that little line and that is showing you what's been highlighted. Now if you go up here to select, you'll see that um, there's like an option to invert. So if you wanted to, you could invert it. But this is showing you that all is selected. And if you want none to be selected, you would hit the none. But I, I don't need that. So now I'm going to um, hit the right click. And I'm going to come over here to cut. And you'll notice that all that disappeared now. now I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to get in here as well. Right click, edit, and cut. You could also do um, delete, that would work as well. And then you have a nice, clean cut, transparent background. Now you'll want to save your file. And so I'm going to save this. And if you want to be able to work on it again in layers, using the layers that you've just created, you're going to save as. And I'm going to bring this up. You can keep it as that name, but I'm just going to go simple and say gold angel and maybe I'm spelling it wrong and I don't care um, and then I'm going to go uh, add the XCF extension and that's oops that's not what I want XCF that will save it in layers and that's a GIMP function so if you want to open it again then you can save all your layers otherwise if you save it as a JPEG or anything else all your layers will disappear um, and you won't be able to change your image unless you do it from the beginning and start all over so I just save that. Might take it a minute or not. There we go. Okay, and then if I'm going to use this in a project um, to load uh, onto my silhouette page or something, I could save it as a JPEG if I wanted the white background, but I don't. I want to have this um, transparent background, so I'm going to save it as a GIF file. Even though I think it's GIF, I was told it's GIF, G-I-F. But hey, whatever, right? So here's my GIF file, or GIF file. I've lost my mouse somewhere on the screen. Bummer. Seriously. There he is. OK. I'm going to hit Save. And then this little window pops up here that says Exporting. Don't even worry about what any of that says. Just hit Export. And then you're going to get this next little window that pops up and it just doesn't matter what it says you just save so now you're gonna have this image that you can use again as a um, gif and you can put it into one of your uh, like into a machine or or whatever so now I'm just gonna save it you'll see how this one little area is selected if I wanted to get rid of that now I could just hit none and now nothing's selected and you get this nice clean image all right, I guess that's going to be it for my first video, um, and then we'll move on to the next one in a moment. Thanks. Bye. If I can figure out how to turn it off.